Everyone learns to appreciate gaming differently, and for my brothers and I, our mom was the real agent of us exploring gaming and being introduced to Nintendo. These days, she is still a hardcore gamer, and her game of choice is Heyday, an app that you can play on iPhone and Android devices. She's been playing it for a few years now, and she always has interesting stories to share about what her people on Heyday are doing. So I thought it might be educational to interview my mom about Heyday and what it's like. How long have you been playing Heyday? I've been playing Heyday five or six years now. I would say maybe five years. I didn't start it right away when they began, but I started it a few months afterwards. Mm -hmm. I, I was on the Metrolink and this young man was playing it and I said, what are you playing? <laughs> and he was kind enough and he showed me. I said, I'm going to do that. And I've been on it ever since. So what is Heyday? Heyday is a farming game where you feed your animals and plant your crops. What level are you? In? I'm 127 level. How do you play Heyday? Well, Heyday, you have to plant your crops, plant them on fields, you have to earn your fields, and then you get these little plots when you uh, hit certain score levels, and then you plant them, mm -hmm. and as you advance in the game, you get more plant options. At first, you just get corn and wheat, mm -hmm. and then it keeps adding on. You're in a guild? You're in a neighborhood? I'm in a neighborhood, and I am the leader of my neighborhood. How long have you been running your neighborhood? About oh, This neighborhood that I'm on now, I started it about a year ago. And then before that, you were in another competitive neighborhood. I was in a very uh, competitive neighborhood where a lot of the people that are in my neighborhood now mm -hmm. uh, are for, from that neighborhood. But our leader got assigned a task, and she got more busy, so she stopped playing. And that puts your uh, neighborhood in problems when your, mm -hmm. when your leader just leaves you without signing off. So we were we were forced to start our own a new oh, neighborhood. Oh, because she didn't quit the game. Like she didn't step down from her position. She, it's like hard to run a neighborhood without a leader, a leader involved, who's present. Yes. And okay. if she would have uh, backed out and signed somebody else, mm -hmm. then we probably would have stayed with that. And also another reason why we uh, I had to leave that neighborhood was that Heyday had done an upgrade. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, everyone that had opt out of the task in the Derby, they got put back in. And so that means you had a lot of people that were out there that you really couldn't do anything with at the time. And they were allowed to be in the Derby even though they weren't playing and it really hurts you because Derbies are done, to, like say you have five people in your neighborhood that's playing the Derby, then you are matched up with 10 other farms, I, I think it's 10 farms, that have five people in their Derby. And you compete fairly like that. Oh, but if someone's not participating on your side, then it's an unfair it's advantage unfair. to the other team. So let's say you got seven people and two of them are Derby Derby jumpers, and you're you're compared with another seven playing team, and all seven of theirs are playing. Well, yeah. you're, you're really hurt. Yeah, you're playing catch up at that point, and just to compete. Just to compete. Are there rules in your neighborhood? Yes. What are the rules in your neighborhood? Well, my number one rule is you must participate in the derby. And so a derby is like a quest, or a derby is you get a certain amount of tasks that you have to perform per derby, and you, you're rated. These uh, tasks are like collect this much wheat. You have to, let's say you have to serve four boats. Okay, and a boat will request for many crates. Yes, of... there's a crates in a boat. Yeah. All right. There's usually about twelve crates that need to be full on a boat, and your crates could be like maybe. 36 wheat in a crate, mm -hmm. or you can have four hats in a crate, or four pizzas in a crate. And you make a pizza out of resources that you farm. Yes, because you have, you get these, um, well, I don't know, but like the sugar mill. Okay. You have to grow your corn, I mean, you have to grow your sugar, and then you will, then you refine it in the sugar mill. And mm -hmm. in the sugar mill, you can make white sugar, or brown sugar, or you can make syrup. And you use those things to make other things. Like if you want to have a cake, well then you have to have syrup, and then you have to have your chickens for your eggs, and then you have to wheat for your flour. So in your neighborhood, which is like a guild, it's made up of all these people, the one rule is they must participate in the derbies. Correct. Everyone participates in helping each other in derbies? or Yes, then... we do. We also help each other. All right, and so is there like a bare minimum, like you have to do one a day, or is there a derby each week, or? Per level you're at is how many derbies. We have to work, we have to do nine derbies, mm -hmm. or nine tasks. Do you know what like the average level of player 
in your neighborhood is? I would say I'm a 127, and the next one up to closer to me is an 80. I would say the average might be around 50. Do people like try to join your neighborhood? All, all the time. And you have all to the deny time. them? I deny them. Do you have Well, a- I let them, we were only doing, they had a request, and then that slowed down our, our enrollment for a while. But we really don't like derby jumpers. Okay, people who just want to complete derbies? They want to know. They just want to get in with you and on your neighborhood and not play the derbies. But if they're in your neighborhood at the time the derby's over, they get your rewards. And we don't like derby jumpers. We kick them out every time. They never complete a task. And if they do, they only complete one. Mm-hmm. And they're gone. What kind of challenges do you experience as the leader of your neighborhood? Keeping everybody playing, keep them on motivated. I once in a while I'll go into my little selling thing and I'll put free things in there for them to get and I'd run it with no ads so everybody can go get stuff. You just tell your neighborhood people that there's stuff in there and mm-hmm. you don't put an ad so that doesn't advertise it to Right, people. you don't advertise it to people outside. But unfortunately I have a lot of followers now by being 120. So I don't even have to put an ad, my things go so fast. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of followers. They just and a camp lot of out at your uh, Well, farm. they just wait because they have me in the thing, and I guess when they need something, because mm-hmm. I know I used to do that in the very beginning too. When you need something, you had farms that you were always good and had what you needed. And yes. you would always go to that when you put them in your friends, and you just go and you get your stuff. You could buy it from there. Have you experienced any problems with, uh, with getting in trouble on Hay Day? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been reported. I've been reported quite a oh, three times, I guess, by players, because I'll say, are you playing your derby? And then they'll say, you have to leave me alone. And I say, well, these are the rules of our neighborhood. And the next thing I know, they're reporting me. And usually, Heyday has been very nice to me. And they, they explain that that person didn't know the rules. And, and I have been OK with Heyday. OK, so no problems with the Heyday team. They've been good. Yes, uh, the, Heyday, the Heyday team is really nice and easy to work with. Before, you've lost your progress on your game, right? Yes, I have. What level were you when you lost your game? Well, the first time I lost, it was a 40-something form, and I really, really stressed it. And I didn't know how to recover it, Mm -hmm. so unfortunately, I had to start again. Now I know all those steps and how to bring it back, and I know it's really easy now. Heyday has made it very easy, and I don't stress it now because I just got a new phone. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I brought it up, it was blank, and I'm like, oh, 120, and I I know how to do this, so I calmed (laughs) myself down and no problems. Besides getting reported and appealing it, do you ever talk to the Heyday admins? I send them things. Like right now, I'm having an issue with the new Heyday Bingo. It's under derbies. You play a derby and your task now, mm. you, they, they line a certain task up as bingo. And you want to play like diagonal, vertical, oh, or yes. horizontal. You know, and mm. you want to play like that. I'm really confused about the rules. They're not been very firm about the rules because they end the bingo, it looks seems like, before for the regular derby ends. I would, had just completed one bingo and then found out that it had ended. So, and one of my other co-farmers, she was really upset because she is working on another line. Mm-hmm. It was hoping to complete two bingos. And so I just recently sent a, a text to the bing, uh, Hey Day people saying, hey, you really need yeah. to explain this bingo a little bit better. So I'm really hoping to get a response as soon as the holidays are over. What other kinds of games do you play or is it just? Right now, I'm just a heyday player. I was playing Candy Crush, regular, and Candy Crush Soda. But I had an older phone. I Mm -hmm. just got a new one. And so uh, it was getting too full. So I kind of deleted the Candy Crush Soda. I still have the regular Candy Crush on, and I play that occasionally. Is there anything else you want to add about heyday? I really enjoy heyday. I think it's a lot of fun. It does take a lot of time. And I know they're always trying to keep things, like they keep giving you more land. Mm -hmm. And right now they just do the zoo. So the zoo's a new thing. And I got both my giraffes going and a hippo and an elephant. So now (laughs) that I got both giraffes, soon I'll be getting a baby giraffe. And my town is doing well and my train, everything is going quite nicely now. They've expanded the game a lot since you've started playing. Oh yes, they have to. If not, um, a lot of people were dropping out because they kept saying it was the same thing over and over Mm -hmm. and over. They keep adding new things. They work really hard to try to keep that up. Like the bingo that I just spoke about, that's brand new and that's why it's the rules are still uh, need to be worked out a little better. Uh, Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I think that's it. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about what it's like to be a level 127 heyday player running a pretty legitimate neighborhood, which is a guild, and participating in some challenges. 
I can relate to this quite a bit because uh, I play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp level 40 something these days and a lot of roller coaster tycoon classic on my phone just so you know here is uh, my availability at anime conventions coming up soon i'm going to be at pack south and then anime st louis in the new year this will be up in early 2018 and i hope to see all of your bright faces if not at conventions, then on my live stream. I do live stream from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Twitch every weekend. I will be taking off two weekends in January for trips. I'm going to be away the weekend of the 13th and the 20th for PAX and a vacation respectively. Thanks so much to my Patreon supporters who support this channel and thank you for watching.